Good morning, everyone. Welcome to St. Anthony's. Today is Friday of the 14th week in Ordinary Time. Today's Mass was being offered for the in reparation to the Immaculate Heart of Mary for current blasphemies and also for the repose of the soul of John Stern. Today's um, entrance at is on page 20. to go out to send to share the good news of our Lord. Let us pause for a moment to reflect the times in our lives when we have allowed our fears and our worries to overwhelm us, to keep us from doing what is right. For these times, let us ask the Lord for his pardon mercy. Lord Jesus, you are sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to come to you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, by your word, you brought us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. of your son have raised enough a fallen world fill your faithful with holy joy for those you have rescued from slavery to sin you bestow eternal gladness through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns in you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen, Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he do, has he do to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but the sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 
My mouth shall declare your praise. My mouth shall declare your praise. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. My mouth shall declare your praise. Behold, you are pleased with sincerity of heart, and in my own inmost being you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me of sin with hyssop, and I may be purified. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. My mouth will declare your praise. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not from your presence, and from and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I am about to declare your praise. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My mouth to declare your praise. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. When the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you to all truth. And remind you of all I told you. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I'm sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what to, you are to say. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of the Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish <coughs> the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. <coughs> the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Is the world a dangerous, scary place? Yes. Why, Pat? Because there's so much violence in the world today. Okay, violence. Is that all you have to be concerned about? Someone physically hurting you? Anything else? It's in your own mind as far as the unknown. Okay, the fear of the unknown is certainly there. Anything else? Hunger. Hunger. Okay, the, the, yes, there's a, a worry, a concern for their future, to eat, a place to live, basic needs of life, yes. The lack of reverence for God. Okay, the lack of reverence, yes, that's certainly true. Anything else? How about dangerous people? Those of you guys have children, when they were young, or some of you guys even older, do you worry about them? Yes, especially the trusting ones. If you have trusting children that are very kind-hearted and trust to everybody, you worry that they'll be taken advantage of? Yes. 
Yes, and sometimes the danger doesn't necessarily come from the outside, but it comes from the inside. I mean, you know, for many elderly people, what do you know, one of the biggest danger for them to have to face? Falling. Okay, falling, dang, physical danger, but they're also afraid of the people who are closest to them, their children, especially if they have big estates. And you know, their children aren't very, well, to be honest, not very good children. They're after their estate. Do they worry about that? that? Being to take advantage, sometimes parents are afraid of their own children taking advantage of and not caring for them. Is that true? If they did not care for their children, then they would know. Yeah, they would. Yeah, but sometimes you never know. I, you know, Kids there's no them. always, there's no best answer. I mean, you know, that there's no them. guarantee in life, is there? And you know, Jesus today, you know, accurately paints the world that we live in, I think, in many ways. That I am sending you like lambs amid wolves. That father will, t you know, t turn against the children, children against their fathers. You live in a very scary place. And in the midst of the scary world that we live in, what should we do? I mean, what are the options? Okay, number one, to pray. And what else? What are the other options? Trust that God is with you. Yeah, you can trust God is with you. What are the other options? Be vigilant. Yeah, be vigilant. And I guess if you really are worried about vigilant, I guess you can read on books about how not to be scammed. A while ago back, there was a man who wrote a book on how not to be scammed. And you know what soon afterward happened to the man? He got scammed. That's right. The iron. The, he was. The joke was ultimately on him. Writing this book, published, and afterward he got caught in a pyramid scheme, and he lost well, a lot of the money. He, you know, the irony of it all. That well, I don't know who wants to buy his book anymore since he himself got duped himself. And you know, oftentimes we can live in a world of fear, or we can trust. Trust. In God ultimately the one who loves us and the choice is up to us and God is near to us but well, oftentimes I'm not sure we hear him or we feel his presence you know a young woman a while ago was talking to her sister she was she was just talking along and all of a sudden she asked her sister hey where's my phone you know so she looked and looked and looked around where the heck is it you know where the phone was was in her hand have you guys ever done that? You're talk talking to someone. Well, you should you should have figured that out since it didn't happen to you. But I mean, you're talking like, where is the phone? Well, it's in your hand. And you know, God is there. And sometimes I wonder, you know, if you can't recognize the phone that's in your darn hand, and you know, you're talking to it. Your sister's done there. You're like, oh, where's your brain? You know, it got disconnected. It's right there. If you can't even recognize a physical object in your hand, how do you recognize God is there within you? That the spirit is there. And I wonder, you know, oftentimes, I wonder, is our mind and our heart so occupied with our fears and our worries that God is trying to talk, you know, trying to tell you something. Sit down, Sue. Listen to me. But God, you know, like, oh, look, 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 my I have a flat tire. People did this to me. You know, I, I, I'm so overwhelmed. Someone stole the Catholic, Catholic converter. You know, my car, you know, what else can go wrong? The world seems to be falling apart. I don't know if I can trust anybody anymore. Maybe I should just sit there everywhere I park from now on. I'll just look at my car. You know, I can't go too far from it. Maybe they'll, they'll steal my car. You know, it's like, come on. You know, you can either trust in God or not. And if you choose not to trust in God, what's going to happen to you? What if you choose to be, you know, you, you make a vow to yourself. I will never be ripped off. I will never be taken advantage of life anymore. Then what's going to happen? Then of course to do that, what what what, do you, what has to change in your life? If you are sworn to yourself, I will never, you know, I will never be tricked anymore. I no one will ever exploit me anymore. Is there is that a possibility? No. You can't do anything. You can't take any more chances. Yes, yeah. Then every then you can't trust anybody anymore. If you ever 
if you really want to be hyper vigilant, but even then, if you don't think you can be tricked, you can you can never be tricked. Guess what? You will be tricked. There's always a clever person out there. I laugh at that because every day I look at the you know, the, the email that comes through in my mailbox. This is in the thousands and thousands of you know unsolicited email about how to make quick rich scheme and whatever else under the sun is out there. Like where the heck do people come from? You know, like God, you kind of wonder. Boy, there's supposed to be so scammer out there, you know, sending emails to everybody, trying to get some, you know, casting a net and trying to get get some poor gullible fool out there. And, and you know, ultimately, we have to trust and believe in the Lord. That ultimately, you know, I don't know about you, but I just choose to, not my gullible, I would give people a benefit of the doubt unless they give me reason otherwise not to trust them. You know, give a better thought out and ultimately move on from that. Because ultimately, you know, in life, we can't live in fear. But ultimately, we have to believe that God is in the midst of, with us somehow every step of the way. And He's speaking to us. But are we willing to listen? And the only way to listen sometimes is to, well, is to first of all, hush up. Allow God to speak in the silence of your heart. Yeah, sometimes I guess some of us have a really hard time. Well, let's get it done with. You know, give yourself a few minutes just to shout out to God and whatever you need to do. Get it out of your system. And then let God speak. And you know, when you allow God to speak, that's what the only time that God, that God, when God speaks to you, listen to Him. Allow Him to comfort you. Allow Him to, to lead you. Because ultimately, you know, our life, I don't know about you, but it seems like it's way too short to spend life just worry and in and in fear and live in fear. That ultimately it is God in charge, not you or me or anyone else. Because I believe ultimately con control is an illusion. Even the most wealthiest people is an illusion. You know, everything they have won't protect them from the, from the ultimate enemy, which is death itself. And I just invite you, my brothers and sisters, today to live in faith and hope in the Lord. That in doing so, may you and I be an instrument of hope and joy for one another. In God's love and mercy, let us turn to him now call our needs and all the needs of the world for Pope Francis, for Alexander, our bishop, and all our priests, bishops, and deacons. May God's grace be upon him to help the lead and guide the people to everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For each and every one of us, may we grow in faith and trust in God each and every day. That in doing so, may we know the Lord truly leads us and guides us in our life, we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. Let us also pray for all those who are sick and ill in our community, especially for Chase, and for many others who are suffering each and every day, we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. Let us also pray for all the prayers that concern the words of life even in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah. Loving, compassionate Father, accept the prayers of your family gathered here. Help each and every one of us, Lord, to turn to you, that in doing so, may we experience your love and your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Love that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicate to your name, purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct close to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift up, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the way which that is ours, he humbled himself, was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as if our end be a clay. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. the way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Alexander, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit and co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance of your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. And let us offer to the Son. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <coughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord have God, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Taste and see that the Lord, the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Join us after Mass and for a wonderful time of spending with the Lord, adoration and better adoration and benediction. Also, remember, we're always called to give witness and testimony. So do so. And remember, it's important for us to also celebrate wedding anniversary. If you have an upcoming wedding anniversary, let us know and we can rejoice together. Send us a picture of your wedding and a recent picture and a point in memory. Also, remember, we're also always called to celebrate life, to give thanks to God for the goodness. So a great way to do that is to report your birthday, send us a picture of your wedding, I mean of your birthday, and a, and a, a recent picture, and something that you reveal, something that most people do not know about you. So we can celebrate life together. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Master said to go in peace and to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel. Defend us now. Be our protection against the wickedness of the spirits of hell. May God rebuke you and be humble and great. And give out the grace of the heavenly host by the power of God. Cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who dwell about the world with Satan.